Okay, so we're going to do circles today, alright? So this is the basic lesson where I'm going to just explain to you the parts of a circle and how it works. So most importantly, you have a circle over here, alright? And the key things, the two key terms that you need to know is that from the middle to the edge of the circle, this line is known as the radius of the circle okay so for a circle there is basically infinite uh, number of radii like that now uh, if you look at a circle there are a few key parts so that's radius is one of them and if you take the widest point of a circle which is from here to here that is known as the diameter of a circle okay so this part is known as the diameter let me just erase this away so this part is known as the diameter of a circle and uh, the other key thing that you need to know about circles is the circumference which is basically the distance from this point all the way back to this point okay so this is known as the circumference of a circle so these are the main parts so the circumference of a circle is this uh, is the length of the outside the diameter is across the widest uh, if this is the middle across the widest this is the diameter and the radius of a circle is anything from the middle to the edge so let's look at the other thing. How do we actually find the area of a circle? So the area of a circle, <clears throat> let me introduce this number to you first. This number is called pi, which is equal to 3.1415, so on and so forth. Now, how do we get this number? Okay. And this is a number that is very important uh, as you go further in your math adventures. You'll find this number popping up in different uh, formulas in, in in unexpected places all right uh, so how do you get this number is basically you draw a circle and you find the circumference of this circle all right you find the circumference of this circle and let's say the circum of the circle is equals to 3 cm okay so this is equals to 3 cm and then you find the diameter and you find the diameter and you realize the diameter is 1 cm and then if you take the circumference divided by the diameter you realize they have a ratio of roughly three now if you take circles of different sizes if you take a large circle like this large circle you find the circumference of this circle and you divide it by the diameter you will get also roughly three and if you take a small circle like this again the circumference over the diameter is also roughly three and after a while, you find out that whatever size of the circle you take, if you take the circumference divided by the diameter, it is always 3. And as people got better at measuring the circumference and measuring the diameter, they realized that the, uh, the value is not really 3, but it's 3.1415 and so on. All right? The decimal places goes to millions of decimal places, and this is one of the most famous numbers uh, in math. So now, if we want to find, if we know that circumference and diameter get, circumference divided by diameter gets you this, so if I want to find the circumference, it basically means I need to take 3.1415 times the diameter, all right? I simply move this number up, divide becomes times. So circumference becomes this times this equals to, I can also say it's, uh, if I, if I say that this is pi, and I can say the circumference is pi times d, which is diameter, or I can say it's 
pi times 2 times radius, all right? Which is also known as 2 pi r. So how do we find a circle? The circle is a bit more complicated, so I'll just give you the formula, all right? Circle is equals to pi times r squared, okay? So again, r is the radius of the circle. So if you, it's also equals to pi times r times r. So that's the radius. Now the question is how to remember the formula. Okay, so you can say area equals to pi r squared. Now one of my other students use this method to remember. So he basically remembered that area sounds like air and the square is floating in the air. All right. And then circumference is then the other one, which is 2 pi r. Okay. Or you can think of it as circumference is on the ground. Okay, to recap, for a full circle, which is a normal circle like that, the area equals to pi r squared. Okay, remember areas for air and uh, square is like floating in the air. The circumference equals to 2 pi r. Now, how do you find the area of a semicircle? Alright, a semicircle looks like that. So it's half a circle. Okay, so semicircle looks like this. This is the center point and this is the radius. So how do you find the area? If you notice, the area of a semicircle is half the area of a full circle. Alright, so area of semicircle equals to half times pi r squared. And that's the answer, all right? So area is half times pi r squared. Now, how do you find the circumference of a semicircle? So the circumference of a semicircle is this part plus this part plus this part. So it's actually half times 2 pi r. Now, half times 2 pi r only gets you this part, okay? So it's important. And you need to add in this and this. So it's plus 2r. So this is equals to the circumference of semi-circle. Okay, what about the area and circumference of a quarter circle? So a quarter circle looks like this. You have the r over here as well. How do you find the area and the peri and the circumference? Uh, so circumference is also known as the perimeter. All right. So the difference between the word circumference and perimeter is circumference means just this part, and perimeter means you have to add this and add this. So area is equals to if you notice a quarter circle is one quarter times a the area of a circle which is pi r squared all right so that's the answer uh and the perimeter let's rub this away the perimeter is equals to one quarter times two pi r so if you remember uh this is your circumference of a full circle and the perimeter you have to add this r as well as this r so it's at 2r so this entire thing is the perimeter of a quarter circle so let's look at a sample question so in this circle if the radius is 5 cm what is the area and what is the circumference so the area is pi r squared, and that's equals to pi times 5 squared. 
equals to 25 pi cm squared, which is equals to 78.54 cm squared. All right, and the circumference is equals to 2 pi r, which is equals to 2 times pi times r is 5 cm, which is equals to 31.41 cm squared. Okay, let's look at another one. If the diameter is 20, what is the radius, area, and circumference? So first thing you need to do is write out the radius. Well, the radius equals to 20 divided by 2 equals to 10 cm. So again, this is the center point. This is the radius. What about the area? Area equals to pi times 10 squared equals 314.16 cm squared and the circumference equals to pi d or equals to 2 pi r i'll work out both for you so d is actually uh 20 all right so it's pi times 20 or 2 times pi times uh, this one, the radius, which is 10. Both of them equals to the same thing, which is 62.83 cm. Okay, so that's how you work out uh, radius, area, and circumference if they give you diameter. Okay, let's look at the next question. If the radius of the semicircle is 10 cm, what is the area and circumference? So radius equals to 10 cm. What is the area and circumference? So area equals to pi r squared times half, which is equals to pi r is times 10 squared times half equals 157.07 cm squared. And the circumference, or I should put a better word, the perimeter of this circle, of this semicircle. So let's not use circumference. Let's use perimeter. Remember, if I use circumference, then I'm only looking for here. All right. But if I'm looking for perimeter, then I need to add this two components to it. So that's the um, key difference between circumference and perimeter. So if I'm looking for perimeter, I need to take half times pi times 2 times r, which is 10, plus another 10, plus another 10. All right, so again, these two tens is actually this and this. Uh, okay, so the answer is, 51.41 cm. So that's the entire perimeter.